Alright guys, I've been to uh, Warhammer World today, uh, the four drilled open day, 1st of April, and I've uh, managed to get my hands on thanks to my buddy, uh, Chucky 1976, a uh, Storm Eagle assault gunship. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick unboxing, show you what's in the kit. And with this one, they have actually supplied you with the experimental rules thing that they usually do. Uh, I've got to say, it looks a pretty nifty thing, but I'm not going to focus too much on that at the moment. And then, of course, you've just got some very basic step-by-step -step instructions, and of course, the contents list, which rest assured I will be going through shortly. But let's have a look at the model, shall we? See what sort of a beastie that we get. So. First off, we get some plastic sprues. Now, let me just study this a minute. Yep, from what I can see, this is a standard uh, Storm Raven sprue. Sprue number one, and then sprue number two. Just having a quick look, see? Yep, that's another standard Storm Raven sprue. And another one here. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much standard stuff but you do get excuse me guys these bags are quite big so I'll do the big bag first you get two bags of resin so let's just pour this lot out and have a look see what we get in here well naturally you get the uh, standard flame base just put that over there okay right then sorry guys it's not very organized today it's been a long day Right, so yeah, you got the usual cockpit glass that you would get. Now this would be the floor. Yeah. So obviously I'm gonna have to do something about this this don't ever rely on your models on these these um ports here that use these for these bases. Because I mean look at that. It's just what's that gonna hold? Nothing. So you have to devise your own method there, but obviously anyway, this is the floor. Um, and then we've got one right hand side piece, this is the in internal part and that's the external part, so just out of curiosity sake guys, let's have a quick look um, yes it's going to be it's going to be pretty much like that, this thing's quite long I can't zoom my camera out anymore really to show you just how long this is but that will go going on there so you've got your one piece there and naturally you've got the other side here which looks quite cool yep so that's the main hook and then we've got a to be honest to study the instructions i'm not sure where this bit will go but it'll obviously go on the top somewhere so another chunky piece of resin there some nice little light details on there some on the underside as well, or well, that could be the top side <laughs> until I look, I'm not really uh, sure. And um, we've got the two missile pods, pretty tasty. They should look nice on the model, there you go. That's a serious amount of excess resin here. And we've got the ramp door, it seems a little bigger than that. Without having the Storm Raven model, here, I can't tell you exactly, but it does seem a little bit bigger than normal. Interesting. Um, yeah, it is a ramp, nonetheless. So yeah, I, think I should imagine that we're going on the front. And then we've got this piece here. That's a door section, and I am looking at the contents list, guys. And uh, number ten, bulkhead. It just says bulkhead. So that might be an. This might be an internal door. Um, I'll have to have a look, obviously, at the instructions and study it more closely, but. Time will tell what that bit's for. Really cool. And now we've got two very chunky looking engines. Now, obviously, something's going to be located in there. That will probably be in the other bag. So let's have a, a look at the other bag now. Because, like I say, there's two bags of resin. This one's got a lot of little components in it. Sorry, my hands are that good. See, I can't get the bag open. Yeah, there we go. We got here. Spread them out a little bit. Right. Um, okay. Two like block-looking things. 
I know it all looks a bit weird until it goes together and you can't really tell where all this lot goes. Uh, I'm just having a look. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, right, we've got a couple of other segments here, just like panels. Um, and a couple more here. There's going to be some uh, straightening out that's going to be need to be done here. Quite a bit of it, really. But uh, that we can't manage. Then you've got a couple of the wing pieces here. Oh no, they're the fins at the front of it, actually. I remember what they are. And then we got. What have we got? I'm not entirely sure what that is. How many of them have we got? Oh, we got two. These will be something to do with the uh, landing gear, I should imagine. Yeah, it looks like it to me. And then we've got a top hatch here, which looks pretty cool. And then, of course, we've got the feet. Uh, or foot, I should say. No, nope, there is two. There we go. There they are. They, if, if they're probably the same ones as the uh, Storm Raven. And then we've got the twin link lars there, which will be going on each wing. A little grill and a tiny little control panel thing. Also, I think is this focusing? I'm not sure if it is, guys. A couple of uh, little. I think you should imagine these are internal details, although they could be external. Little cabinets look like things. I should imagine they'll be fixed like that. Another little fin and some other little details. And to be honest guys, I'm I'm looking at these engines and as look as as much as I can as much as I can, I can't see. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I'm being a right idiot enough. Of course, the engine pieces for this will be, the end of the engine pieces will be the plastic housings on the uh, Storm Raven. Oh, for some reason I was looking for a racing component to go on there, but it'll be like that, and I should imagine you'll be having the other end of that. Yeah, looking at it, you'll be having the other end of that on there. So yeah, it should be an interesting model when it's all done. And I will probably be starting the build of this beastie very soon. That's what it looks like when it's built. Quite an awesome looking model. So yeah, I've rambled on long enough now guys, so I've got to pack it in. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for the uh, build on this model. So cheers guys, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.